love, love this town, by the way. This is a really, a really cool town. I mean, uh, I'm a huge fan of R. Crumb, uh, Robert Crumb, the, the artist. And there's a, a Robert Crumb exhibit just around the corner that I just went to this afternoon. And, oh my God, we would never see that in uh, Texas. <laughs> I mean, the uh, land where it never it. rains. And I love all the hippie chicks everywhere. Holy <laughs> crap, I've never seen so many hippies in one area. How many hippie chicks do we have in this room? Can you please stand up? Please stand up. Please stand up with the real hippie chicks. Please stand up. <laughs> Now let's get down to business. I ain't got time to play around. What is this? Must be a circus in town to show the shit. Can I get a witness? Hell yeah. Okay. <laughs> or if we just do Krillin uh, rapping the entire session? <laughs> No, um, do we have any questions uh, about anything, an anime related? You know, I have also been a, a director for anime and a writer for anime, and I'm also a manga artist and writer for that too. So uh, if you have any questions that run that entire gamut, or, you know, just about my personal life, you know, go ahead. I'm, I'm an open book for the most part. Um, 12 inches, yes. What was your question? <laughs> Goat. Oh, that is a good question. Uh, my manga is called We Shadows. It was published by Tokyo Pop, uh, and it's based on the characters from A Midsummer Night's Dream, the Shakespearean comedy. Uh, it's about Puck and Titania and Oberon, but what they're doing today, right? And the main character, though, is a character called Goat, a little punk rock fairy. And Goat is actually based on an ex-girlfriend of mine named Jessica. <laughs> But it's cool, though, because it's a really cool character. And, but I remember when I first started dating Jessica, she was kind of shy, you know? And I don't know, something about my personality may, warped her. <laughs> and I just watched her just blossom into this, you know, dynamic human being. And she's now a reporter for the Dallas Morning News, and, and she cusses like a sailor and stuff. that seems to, seem to have that disease that I spread on people. But, um, it's a sunny disease. Exactly, yes. You will be all walking sunny out of here saying things your mother told you not to say. <laughs> um, but uh, she, it was just such a cool thing to witness that, you know, and to watch this person come, of their, come into their own, you know? And so it, that story is about this character coming into her own and finding out how really cool she is on the inside and her destiny. So that's, that's who it's based on. A real person. Yeah. Um, is there anything you could change about the first one? Uh, Hughes would live longer. <laughs> <laughs> and, and would have much more lines. <laughs> Let's keep it promotion. Exactly. Uh, yeah, exactly. Keep the promotion without having to die for it. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Make Roy mad. <laughs> yeah, totally. I mean, I, it's, I think it's a great series, though, and I think it's a really good thing that he did die when he did, you know? I mean, even though it upset people, it made people really want to know what's going on with this and, you know, made the second season that much more watchable, you know? Give it an impetus to keep going. Um, sometimes killing off a main character is a good idea. And it was a good thing for me, too. I mean, uh, I used to get a lot of uh, convention invites, but when Hughes died, I started getting them all the time. <laughs> hey, let's bring that dead guy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what's your question? Oh, uh, how was it finding out that they were going to do Dragon Ball Z Kai, that they were going to remake the anime? Uh, well, we're already recording it. Um, you know, yeah. it's already on TV. Uh, it was awesome, you know, to actually get to do that again. Uh, and I, for those of you who've only seen it on Nicktoons, you know, um, don't be distressed if you think, oh, well, it's, it's so uh, edited and everything. But it has to be because it's for Y7. We're also going to be on the CW channel. And we're also, I think we're good. We're, I think we're also going to be on uh, Cartoon Network, too. So it's, there'll be all sorts of versions out there that you can see. It's kind of funny to see the Y7 version of Dragon Ball Z. Because you would think it's impossible, and it kind of is. Uh, there's a scene in particular that really cracks me up. It's uh, Gohan sees this slaughtered town of Namekians, and you know the line is, "Oh my God, they killed them all, right?" But for Y7, you can't say that. So Gohan says, "Oh no, they put them all to sleep." <laughs> 
So I guess for a child, that is a pretty scary thing. Nobody likes to take a nap when you're seven. When you're my age, it's like, oh, good, a nap. But, uh, kids don't like that. But there is, but the the unedited version that we're doing is awesome, and it, it is far superior to the original, in my opinion. Uh, the acting is far better because we all have 12 years of chops under our belts. Uh, the writing is better because our writers have gotten a lot better too. Um, and also, the, the animation has been updated. Uh, the 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 shows end on a much more natural cliffhangers. Uh, they, they don't last they take a week or two to have a conversation between two foes that are about to fight they just go in there and fight which is nice and that's what kind of means really far superior Better. and it's just cool to be able to do krillin again you know I've, I've been doing krillin for 12 years i would i never thought i'd be still doing krillin 12 years later you know i can't wait for the next dragon ball z incarnation when i'm 57 you know I'll be like, happy happy head <laughs> Goku, where are you? Eh, fuck it. I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna lay here and die. Come back, right? Uh, any other questions about old people? Yes. Well, uh, as Hughes, could you do a rant about Alicia and getting Roy a wife at the same time? About Alicia and Roy doing what? Roy getting a, needing to get a wife. Okay, well, I gotta tell you right now, I've got some great pictures to show you, Roy. Oh my God, you could not believe the pictures I took of her this weekend. She was on the beach and she was wearing this cute little bikini, and I know bikinis may be a little bit too old for her age, but oh my God, she looks so adorable. And if you had a wife, oh my God, you could have a child too, and then you can start your own album, then we can share albums and trade them. Oh my God, let's do that, Roy. Let's find you a wife. <laughs> Thank you. I make the weirdest question. I five for that.